All right, hey, what's up guys? Now this next one is another 50-50 escape, right? And I, I'm gonna call this one to Ashley Williams because I just saw him hit this one. And um, it, it's kind of weird, but uh, I think there's an opening for it, right? And obviously there is because he hit it. So 50-50, um, right? Jimbo's looking for my legs. I'm staying, I'm keeping my legs straight here. I'm trying to get up. Once I get up to my knee, you know, from here, as long as I'm not allowing them to, you know, like I said, sh uh, spin underneath and grab me, I'm trying to work on his legs, but he's definitely going to be looking for my foot. But sometimes the guy loses track and I pick my leg up and bring it over to the other side. Right now I'm in a great passing position, right? I would love to be in this spot on a leg locking guy, especially if I can get an underhook here, then I'm probably going to shoot my hips out and then run it all the way around and try to get the side into a pass, right? So... Um, let's do it from this angle. All right, so we're here, all right? And I'm trying to, you know, I'm always defending my legs. That's number one, right? I can't lose track of him looking for a heel hook just by trying to do something over here, right? I have to make sure that's step one. So I have my legs defended, right? I make sure I get up. And then from here, I might be working my way in. I'm just trying to not let him totally extend me. And then I just bring my leg to the other side, drop my knee down. This would be so weak. If I was able to catch that position on a leg locking guy, that would be money. So there's not much to that one. You just gotta kind of time it to the right time, right? As I'm up, right, my leg is here, right? My leg goes up and over. It's gonna be very similar to this Z-Lock escape that I show you where it's kind of dangerous, but if it works out, it puts you in an awesome spot.